Hello, good morning friends. Here we are discussing one of the important properties of gypsum products that is setting expansion. There are two types of setting expansion which we are going to discuss now that is normal setting expansion and hygroscopic setting expansion. Now what is setting expansion? As the name suggests, the expansion which is seen after setting of the material is called as setting expansion. So normal setting expansion is the setting expansion which is seen after the setting of gypsum product that is dental plaster, dental stone. And hygroscopic setting expansion is the setting expansion which is which occurs in presence of water. So that is called as hygroscopic setting expansion. Now these are the values which are given of the normal setting expansion that is for dental plaster it's 0.02 to 0.4 and uh, for dental stone it is 0.08 to 0.1 percent. Now actually if we see now what is setting of the plaster that is we are mixing uh, powder into water and the material sets. So if we see the equivalent vol volumes of hemihydrate and water, that is uh, if you take a particular amount of water and particular amount of powder. So if you add this amount of water and powder, it is more as compared to the final product. Ideally, when I say setting expansion, the final product should be more, but if you see volumetric, then the equivalent volumes of hemihydrate plus water is more than the volume of the reaction product. So a true volumetric contraction is seen. Okay. So there is a true volumetric contraction, but still we say there is a setting expansion. So in actuality, if we see physically an, ex, an apparent expansion is observed. Now here you can see the diagram. We can see the nuclei which are growing when you are mixing powder, uh, plaster and water with each other. The particle starts growing from the center. Okay, the center is called as nuclei of crystallization. And from that center, the growth occurs as the plaster particle starts, the hemihydrate particle starts taking up the water. And the crystal, they grow in a star-like pattern which is called as a spherulite. So these spherulites grow and they intermesh. Suppose this is one spherulite, this is another spherulite. So they intermesh with each other. As the spherulites or as the growth intermesh with each other or intermingle with each other, the material sets to a hard mass. But with the intermeshing at their certain areas, the growth of the star will, will oppose each other, will oppose each other or will intercept at certain points. Like in this diagram, at certain areas, we can see the growth is opposing each other. So that is called as point of interception. It is not intermeshing, but it is a point of interception. At the point of interception, an outward thrust is created. That means when two, two growing uh, spherulites, they intercept each other, then at that point, the out, outward pressure or outward thrust is created. Under se ek force aata hai. That force pushes the particles away from each other. So, so this is intermeshing, this is intercepting. So at the point of interception, this outward force pushes the particles away from each other. Okay. So this is occurring in two particles. There are n number of thousands of particles in a mix. So each particle is pushing the other particle at the point of interception. And if you see there is an apparent expansion, although the volume of the water and powder is less, but there is an expansion due to the uh, pushing of the particles each other. So that is called as a normal setting expansion.
Now these are the stages of reaction. Again, the same thing in the diagram which has seen, uh, which is shown here. So this is a diagrammatic representation of the setting reaction. So here you can um, very well understand that at certain areas there is an interception at which an outward force is created which pushes the particles apart from each other. Now we will see the factors affecting the normal setting expansion. Basically it is called as a normal setting expansion. So we'll see the factors affecting setting expansion. So the most uh, important factor is a water powder ratio. Now if you take more amount of water as compared to the powder, then the setting expansion is less. Uh, the setting expansion is less. If you're taking more amount of water as compared to powder, then the setting expansion is less because the growing particles, they will stay apart from each other and by the time the material sets, they are coming closer to each other and there will be little pushing of the particles from, uh, uh, little pushing of the particles. So, water powder ratio, if you take a less amount of water powder ratio, that is, if the powder is more as compared to water, then the expansion is more and vice versa. Then next is the increased spatulation. So within the practical limits, if you rapidly mix the material, within the practical limits is very important. And rapidly if you are mixing, that means you are breaking one nuclei into many nuclei. So what will happen? The number of nuclear crystallization increases. And so there will be pushing of the particles more and the setting expansion is more. Okay, because of the nuclear crystallization, each, each, each particle is breaking into, suppose one particle is breaking into 15 particles, so the 15 particles will act individually as a spherulite and they will grow. So, uh, faster and uh, faster pushing of the particles uh, will be seen and there will be increased setting expansion. And the last important point is effect of modifiers. Now, modifiers usually we consider accelerators and retarders. Now, accelerators, they usually accelerate the rate of reaction and reduces the setting time. And retarders, they reduce uh, the rate of reaction and uh, increases the setting time. Okay. Now, basically both accelerators and retarders, they de reduces the setting expansion. Now, accelerators... Uh, they accelerate the rate of reaction. So, the, um, there will be the rigid structure, the, the hard structure will be attained very fast and the spherulites don't get chance to push each other and so the setting expansion is less in case of accelerators. In case of retarders, usually an adsorbed layer is formed over the growing crystal and so there will be no pushing of the crystals away from each other and that's why the retarders also have a reduced effect on the uh, setting expansion. Now coming to the factors affecting setting expansion, mostly all the factors which increases the normal setting expansion also increases the hygroscopic setting expansion. In addition to it, there there are two more factors that is the time at which you are um, immersing the mix in the excess of water that is uh, at the end of the initial setting time the material should be immersed into the water agar pura set hone ke baad aap fir pani mein rakhte ho so there will be no no hygroscopic setting expansion is seen number 2 the amount of water which you are adding also will add to the hygroscopic setting expansion okay so adding more extra water and the time at which you are adding the extra water those are the two important factors which affects the hygroscopic setting expansion